Hello, today we're going to talk about idle air control valves and what they do for the engine. So this example I've got is an older one, but the newer ones pretty much work the same way on the inside. So what we have here is a two wire connector and this device is basically going to be bolted to the throttle body uh, or very near the throttle body. So this is the throttle body here and you'll see this is called the throttle blade or some people call it a butterfly. Um, what the idle air control valve does is it allows air to bypass this blade so that air can enter the engine and basically control the idle when engine load changes. So examples of that would be you're sitting at a stoplight, the engine's idling, it's hot outside, the air conditioning compressor kicks on. And at that point then this little valve is going to open and it is going to allow air to enter in front of the throttle body go through the valve and then basically go around the throttle blade so you don't have to push your foot down on the accelerator pedal to speed the engine up. The computer is going to take care of that for you and you can see here how far this valve moves and what this is going to do is it's going to operate on a duty cycle so it's going to be pulsed on and off and we're going to call those IAC counts. So if you're looking at this information on a scan tool you're going to notice IAC counts and a lot of manufacturers are somewhere around 50 or so counts. Um, if your counts are really high, you probably have a vacuum leak. If your counts are very low, um, no, I just said that backwards. If your counts are very low, you have a vacuum leak. If they're very high, then you can have some carbon buildup inside of this valve. How do you test them? Really fairly easy. You can check resistance across the two terminals here and then also what we used to do as techs and still do today is simply start the engine, let it idle, unplug the device, and the engine should stall or very close to stall, run very, very poorly, very slow RPM, plug it back in. If it starts idling normally again, then your valve is probably okay. Uh, we also used to unplug them and when they didn't die, then we knew it did have a vacuum leak somewhere because the air was entering somewhere other than this idle air control valve. So again, easy to test and do please keep in mind, this is a cutaway. Normally this whole segment's not gone. Um, it is simply so you can see what it looks like on the inside.